Hey, what's going on, guys? ST here, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to a little bit more Prey. I'd uh, received a request to do the alternate ending to this game. Um, hold on a second, if I can scan this thing. Or not. So we're going to do that. Um, thought it'd be really cool to, to see. That's just a techno path. It's pretty cool, that... that uh, a big ass thing anyway so that this thing actually continues to grow as the game goes on so i'm going to pause it real quick or kind of put it in a limbo state but yeah got the request to do the alternate ending so i went ahead and loaded that up and i actually went through the per perdition and i went through all the doors and the load screens and all that shit so you guys didn't have to experience that so i figured let's do it let's uh let's go through this and gives me an opportunity to see it i liked how the game did an, a save or I saved it, I don't know which, um, right before the the last two of mine without limits and perdition. So it gives you that option to, to compl complete both of those. So anyway, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to make my way down. Um, I actually have this lift activated. It should take us all the way down to the bottom. Not sure how difficult this is going to be with all these... Phantoms and shit. Oh, let's just run. I'm gonna run, get down in here. Hopefully, this is as simple as one, two, three. I don't know. Insert key. Um, insert key. Activate key and activate key. Okay. Use the arming keys, which we did. Where do we have to go? Up. get back on over here. I don't know how far up we have to go, but I'll figure it out. Self-destruct. So we gotta go to the self-destruct terminal. Up, up, and up. And away we go. Yeah, I mean, you know, I love this game. It's Hello, it's been really fun. There. An and nope, we are here to blow it up. I've uh, I definitely have enjoyed it. I, I will say there have been some challenging moments. Um, and that's that's cool. I like I like a good challenge. You know, I don't know why. Is there? Hold on. No, no, and no, and no. I was looking for maybe an easier way up there. I mean, basically, like, what I've had to do is jump up. No, that's not going to work there, buddy. This is. Oh, well, that's not going to work if I'm falling off of it, you know? But yeah, it's like you got to go through that uh, one area and then, there we go, and come out through this door and just, c coming up through the ceiling was such a pain in the ass, so that's a little bit easier. And there's probably stairs somewhere that I missed. So I don't know how far we have to go. Um... Not really sure. So, unfortunately, I reduced all the load screens and started it out down where we were supposed to be. But now we're probably going to have to go back through all the ones that I just came through. So, fun, fun, and fun. Fun is. So, that really wasn't too challenging. I do like the fact with the mobility, man, you can literally just fly. Um, not fly, but walk extremely fast which really helps out if you're trying to get through some of these levels or if you're doing a speed run I could definitely see how that would be very beneficial so but yeah overall man this they did a great great um, it's been a great game I've had very few bugs I, I think like I've mentioned several times 
the biggest downside is the the loading screen to each one of these levels and having to wait especially when you have to transition through a lot of them you use sometimes it's as fast as 30 seconds and sometimes it takes a little longer you can wait you know a minute plus So as you can see, I'm not even messing around trying to fight anything at this point. My whole goal is to get back to where we need to be. So yeah, apologize. We got to go through these load screens. I know that sucks, but I'll try to keep you guys entertained just while we're waiting, or you can just skip through them. Either way, or I could edit them out. I'm not opposed to doing that. We'll see how the final video turns out. But uh, yeah, the stream last night went really well. Um, did five hours the second time the first time around i think that was about an hour and a half so a total of six and a half hours uh to to actually finish up the game which i said three i said two to three from my starting point it was like six so i definitely underestimated that of course we tackled a few side missions uh one of the things as i progressed towards the end i found out a lot of information thanks to ryan again for stopping by and providing uh, some Helpful tips and a lot of good info and a backstory on the game. But uh, well, some of these side quests, um, actually a lot of them, they they do have meaning. And that's one of the things that kind of uh, I thought was interesting. And when you do get to the, towards the end of the game, uh, I'm assuming with pre predicated, and we're going to find out predicated on what ending you choose, there there is meaning there because it does affect the outcome or can. If you watched the Mine Without Limits video, um, so well, where do we need to go? Let me check my map real quick. If you watch the Mine Without Limits video, you, you'll see that to where at, at the end there is an extra, um, there it is. We have to go to Cargo Bay. There's extra, oh, that's an airlock. Sorry, we have to go to the bridge. We, there's extra areas, so... Uh, the, uh, is it the bridge? Hold on. Arboretum. Alright, shit. Let's just go to the lobby. Eh, it'll tell me in a minute. So, yeah, though, anyway, sorry. At the end of the... The, the Mine Without Limits, there, there's an extra... Uh, extra content, if you will. I never thought I'd welcome that sound. An extra mission. No comes the fireworks. I do not know if they will be enough, but I think they will. And that mission, actually, another door. We can talk now. With that mission, it actually, if you've watched it, it shows you what everything is. And I found that extremely interesting. And then, of course, there's Judgment Day. I'll put it like that. And predicated on your actions within the world and, and what you did or didn't do, who you helped or not help, kind of affects your outcome. Um, I fortunately was able to live. I, I assume if you basically do a run where you kill everybody and don't help anybody, they kill you. But I don't know that. I don't know that. And then you're given a choice. In my case, I was given a choice after I was decided that they weren't going to kill me as I was strapped to the chair, that you can either kill them all. And again, you can watch this at the very end of my last video. You can either kill them all or you can shake your brother's hand. And of course, I, I chose to shake my brother's hand, but I'm kind of curious how this is going to go with this mission, if it just blows everything up. And if there is that optional hidden mission that was available. Based on what I know. I don't know. We'll see. Kind of curious. Microgravity detected. Alright. Yeah, I really, really do struggle a little bit with um, the, fly, the flying in this game. You are ugly, sucker. Can you... Oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Probably pissed him off. Down, down, down. Come on, dude. Help me out here. There's just like no gravity. 
no gravity. It feels like there's no gravity. Oh, yes. Through another door. All right. You know, one door at a time. Got to make them. Got to make it through all. This is probably what pissed off most people is just this part right here in general. With with the rest of the game, you can break up the segments of transversing through the doors. So you could spend 30 minutes, an hour in an area or more or less and then go through the door and get the loading screen and it not be that big of a deal. By that point, I kind of welcome the, the break from you know being either chased by phantoms, nightmares or whatever else was chasing me or just needed to, to take a break mentally from the game but when you're at the end right here you're wanting to get through it at least that's the way that I feel I want to get through it I want to get to the end I feel like I'm kind of reviewing the game I guess I kind of am but anyway it's like you know I just want to make it from point A to point B let's do this let's get it done and this slows that progression down so if I had one tip, I would have liked to have seen them if they were going to keep the loading screens on the doors. Maybe um, figure out a way to integrate it better, maybe a shorter I'm aware distance. I'm you prime the arming oh. keys to destroy Talos-1. So I find the activation of this null wave transmitter station puzzling. The directives you gave me require I do everything in my power to ensure you destroy Talos-1 and all the Typhon. Detonating the station safeguards the Earth and perhaps provides a small measure of reparation. You know how neuromods are made. The demand will only increase. In the future Alex envisions, many will die for the benefit of a privileged few. I won't relinquish control of the terminal. If you want to activate the null wave, you'll have to kill me. And that last time I didn't even give January the chance, I just killed him. So, I don't want to destroy January. Um, that's not my goal. We need to get up to this self-destruct terminal. Um, let's see. So how do I... Okay. So this is different. Um, I assume we do that by going up. Is there... While I'm down here and I'm not being chased, is there anything we can grab? Look at that. Look at, look at that. I, I got an SOS from a Kirk Remmer. I was going to route him to security, but we got cut off. He said he was at the escape pods in life support. So call Chief Show up in deep storage. I'm not a network engineer. Supervisor? Lady, do you people even know what is happening down here? One of my cargo bays is blown wide open, and I've got multiple MIAs. Please tell me there's a medical team on the way. I'm sorry, I don't know, but I can relay your message to Dr. DeVries and- Christ, I've gotta go. So I didn't even do this last time. What do you have for me, Cothran? Chief, yeah, so I checked that flight plan for the volunteer shuttle like you requested. You're right, it went dark for 12 minutes before it resumed a path towards Earth, but at a slightly different trajectory than before. It's almost unnoticeable, like it left from a different part of the station or changed its flight pattern around Talos. 12 minutes? What about the other shuttles? It's only the volunteer shuttles, but it's all of them. They go dark 8 to 10 minutes after leaving the station, then suddenly reappear. The VIP shuttles don't show the same irregularity. Got it. Don't talk to anyone about this. About what, Chief? Exactly. Good work, Matt. Elazar out. This is really cool. I mean, I'm kind of glad I came down here. Such a rush. Last time, I didn't even um, really notice any of this. I just wanted to get from point A to point B. Um, and, of course, set the null wave. But, um... Looks like there's some extra stuff that we could do. Uh, I'm kind of curious what that is. Where's Kirk? Find Kirk and life support. Now, I'm not going to go back to life support. We're not going to do that. I find that interesting. But you know what? I will make a save. Create a new save. Um, oh, no, I don't want to load. There we go. That way we have the save right here and still have that option. Um... Let's go in here. Let's check this out. We'll get to the ending in a minute. Just kind of curious what, what's down here, if anything is important. Um, we did find another chipset. What is this? Oops. Go back. Go back. I love these chipsets, too. Um, increases the range at which Typhon can be scanned. Oh, that's bad. That's badass. Not bad, badass. 
Very nice. What's what's in here? What the hell? Okay. Get to that in a minute. I love these little notes too. Today is memorable and happy. And I'm not picking that up. We don't need that. That would be cool if that was like a upgraded unit. Nothing like an upgraded unit. It's a lot of food here. Don't really need that. So we got the briefing room. Is there anything here? No. A lot of clutter. A lot of clutter. It's like, damn, he can jump. Look, there's a book over here after the space race. And looks like there's something up here. Oh, another dead body. Grab that, and we have a safe. Well, there's only one on it. We'll go ahead and hack this. I don't want to spend too, too much time here, because the whole intent of this video is to um, get through to do the optional mission. But I do like finding extra stuff in the game. That's one thing this game doesn't lack, is content. That's some more neuro mods. Nice. Nice. Alright, now I'm curious where this goes, so let's go up here. Oh, look at this! How you doing there, buddy? Your suit suffered some wear and tear. Thank you. John Appreciate that. Look at all of this. I mean, why would I even think that, that was real? I mean, come on. Come on, you know what I'm saying? All right. I assume we can probably. As I say, I assume we can probably break that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. What is this? Uh, a wrench that I don't need for any reason. Was there anything else back here of importance? I guess not. Dinner is served in the cafeteria from 6 to 8 p.m. I'm curious about something. Oh, that's. I believe that was for the other objective. Yeah, where is Kirk? Let's take that off because we're, we're not going to do that. All right, let's go ahead and head on up and let's um, let's blow this bitch up. Or not. Captain's, Captain's Law. I was going to say Captain's Log. Stardate. Ah, another chipset. I mean, search everything if you're playing this game and you're watching this. Please, search everything. As I was told, hit everything. Kink. Okay. Bill Nixon apparently had some issues. You can tell he's under the couch down here. Go ahead and grab that. We got. Oh, he had a briefing room card as well. I mean, you don't know what's real and what's not in this game. I mean, seriously. Neuro mods. Go ahead and listen to that. This is Please. Captain Jada Marks. Please I'm setting down for up. posterity my deliberation over the fate of the shuttle advent. I'm unable to determine with confidence if the advent departed before being contaminated got a by the life forms presently overwhelming Psycho Talos One. Best guess based on telemetry data, advent departed approximately 30 minutes prior to the first incident report logged by security. 30 minutes. It is within What's that this? narrow gap of uncertainty. I must decide whether or not to remote detonate the shuttle and its five passengers. Oh. They may very well be flying a cargo hold full of mimics to an unsuspecting Earth. They may not. Captain! We could sure as hell use that golden gun right about now! I don't... What the hell is this shit? The fate of the Captain shuttle Marks. I I'm calling to let you know I've authorized a full evacuation of Talos-1. I've tried to issue a mayday to Earthside operations, but our external communication mm. systems are malfunctioning. If you're still with us, we're keeping our posts until the last pods are safely away. Mark's out. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. If I detonate the charges, it kills them anyway. If I land them, I kill them because I'm about to blow the place up. So it really doesn't even matter at this point. Except for the fact of your outcome. Shuttle landing countdown. Let's see what... I, I don't know that I want to wait around for another four minutes, though. 
do no harm. Determine the fate. Eh, we'll just go ahead and let's end it. Before I do that, let's go ahead and do another save. Uh, I saved it here. We'll just save it one more time. Since I've kind of picked up a few things along the way. Alright guys, here we go. Are you sure? Warning. Reactor detonation. It's finished. All the directives you gave me have been completed. Oh. All except one. When the station detonates, it will destroy the Apex Typhon and every trace of technology derived from it. Including you. But you know this already. It was your idea, after all. The alien neuromods you carry would pose an unacceptable risk to everyone on Earth if you returned. Have a seat, Morgan. You might as well enjoy the view in your final moments. Warning. Cool. Reactor detonation imminent. Now, Please evacuate Talos 1. Now I kind of wonder, since there was a timer or a countdown, if we could have reached, like, an escape pod or something. My God. Boom. You know what I mean? Like, if the... Because there's a timer, so you have, like, eight minutes. I keep having this dream... Can I move around? No. How was it? So on the last video when this the credits rolled, you see like because I saved the Typhon, they were killing everybody. And it, the process, it was like a vicious cycle starting all over. So I'm kind of curious, um, since you watched this little tidbit, what your thoughts are on this ending. And at the end there, can we? Is there even a possibility of leaving, getting to a shuttle and evacuating? Because the timer kind of throws me off a little bit. Normally if there's a timer you need to get from point A to point B. So, I'm curious with that. See what happens, see if we get any optional ending or not. So let's see what this says. A hidden location. Yeah. So here it is again. Here's the extra ending. And if you guys want to sit and watch the credits, you can. But I, I did last time for some of it. Um, at least watching all the Typhon kind of kill the people. But, yeah. Once we got to the uh, non-interactive screen... Went ahead and cut it. All right. So let's see what happens this time. Let's see what dialogue I have. It's finished. How did it do? How did it? Activation of the mirror neurons is Remember promising. That. Empathy quotient shows to be in the middle range. It probably thinks it was dreaming, and nothing mattered. You're assuming it thinks like us. Its life depends on it. Ours too. It all comes down to the choices it made. It killed me. Why? Would be difficult to say. It installed multiple Typhon-based neuromods. It could mean an instinctive return to its own kind. Or... An attempt to integrate its dual natures. Michaela. I would have died without my medication. That wasn't easy. That says a lot, I think, about its heart. Can I say that it has a heart? Then, there was a man in psychotronics, Engram. Things did not end well for him. But... Would you let it live? Yes. Sarah, you're next. The situation in the cargo bay was bad. I didn't survive, but at least he tried to help. And he destroyed a large number of Typhon across the station. That has to be a good sign. Further, it thwarted Dar's attempt to use us as hostages. If it were one of my officers, I would give it a commendation. Danielle, what do you say? It never saw me, and it never ran into Volunteer 37. Hard to say what it would have done. 
There were a lot of humans controlled by the Typhon that it could have harmed. Seems like it went out of its way to avoid that. I think it's worth the risk. Alex, it killed you. Back then, her would have done the same thing to me. In the end, it chose to destroy Talos One. Why? To protect her? We can't really know what its motives were for anything it did. But we have to make a choice. You can hear us, can't you? Here. I want to show you something. What you experienced was a reconstruction based on Morgan's memories. This is the world today. We spent years trying to put what you can do into us. We never tried putting what we can do into you. Until now. You're the bridge between our species. I need to know if you see us. I mean, really see us. Take my hand if you do. Yeah, see, that's what I did last time. We're not doing that this time. Nope. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> that was brutal. That was brutal. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. Brutal. Oopsie. And that's it. You don't even get credits. <laughs> so. So I think, like at the end there my my choices or I'm sorry the choices that them keeping me alive to begin with are always going to be the same because of my style of gameplay now, I am curious though what would happen as I said earlier based on the choices that you make throughout the game if you were to go back and not help anybody kill anybody what would happen I assume there's going to be a whole other ending there that would probably kill you in some way but I don't know so now we've experienced two different endings. I still want to know from you guys on the right before we did the explosion and blew up Talos, that timer, there was a countdown. Is there a possibility to get to a shuttle? If there is, let me know and I will go back and I will do that or I'll research it. But either way, I'd like to know. And uh, is there any impact with uh, a couple of those extra objectives that we picked up at the very end that were side missions do they impact the game or do they not i don't know i don't really see that they do but they could provide some key elements that would help a new game plus anyway let me know your thoughts on the game i would rate this as a definite if you haven't played it pick it up and play it it was just on sale recently i believe on psn um goes on sale all the time it's definitely worth the money especially with the added content and of course there's also uh, moon crash i will be playing that at some point and uh, i think that'll be fun as well anyway thank you guys for taking the time to stop by check out the channel and check out the, the video if you haven't subscribed hit that subscribe button please make sure to share the videos those are probably one of the single best things that anybody can do for the channel is to get the videos out there so anyway until next time you guys peace out and enjoy your weekend